Hey friends, this is Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and this video is called From Tree to Jar Maple Syrup. Now here's some things you need to know. One of the reasons why maple syrup is so expensive is it is a long and exhaustive process. You need to live in an area where you have freezing weather in the winter, the best time for tapping maple trees to make syrup is when you've had a nice winter and now it's spring and the nights are below freezing and the days are above freezing. That's when the biggest rush of sap is going up and that's the sweetest part. It's the first rising of the sap that that gives the tree nutrients to go into bud. And it takes 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup and it's a lot of work. That's why real pure maple syrup is so expensive and you only see it being made in provinces and states where you have winter. All right, here we go. From tree to jar, maple syrup. Okay, so here we are. We got our sap boiling. I got out here at uh, eight o'clock this morning. Got fire going, burning up all the deadfall and garbage wood I got all around the property. Going down real cold next week, so we should get another week. Oh, I got a full bucket there. I got uh, a whole bunch of mess to clean up this uh, spring, but we'll get there. All this old stuff that we took off when we cleared the lot. I gotta get my poor old trailer going too. Oh, full pot. Off. Yeah, I get all this old wood that's been just rotting. I'm gonna burn it all up. I got a lot of mess to clean up. Oh, a couple bugs in there. Oh. Oh, good. Burning up all the waste wood. So what were you saying? Thousands of dollars of old chicken pens and things. Yeah, absolutely. Thank hey, you. waste not, want not. Oh, good. Burning up all the waste wood. So what were you saying? Thousands of dollars of old chicken pens and things. Yeah, absolutely. Thank hey, waste not, want not. What was I we're talking about uh, whether oh, we're going to get another boiling or we'll not. Probably get another full pot next week, so I'm hoping. Okay. I'll collect through the week. My pots, a lot, the ones that are doing well, are almost full right now. So. Okay. And we'll finish boiling the sap tomorrow after this fire dies. Okay, so this is my big stock pot, and what was left in the pot that we boiled down yesterday had to be divided in half. So the first, we boiled one of these down already and it's in the cast iron Dutch oven in the house. And when this one gets down to about two inches, then we will pour the other stuff back in and I will finish it in the house. Here is our what's left of our first batch of syrup. It is simmering down beautifully and I'm going to be cleaning it later tonight and bottling it up because I do believe that that is done. Now, what you see in that pot, uh, if we bottled it, would have come out like molasses. I had been simmering it and doing other things, baking bread, making bagels, making soup, making noodles, that I didn't realize that it was cooking down too fast. Because when it gets to that point, there's not a lot of water left, right? So what we ended up doing was, I took three liters of last year's syrup, which was, it was thin. It still had good sugar content, but it was thin to the point of being a little more liquidy. So I took three liters of that and I dumped it in with what would have turned out to be molasses. And it actually turned out absolutely perfect. This is the last of our syrup. 
um, from our first batch and as you can see if it, it's boiling up into sugar so we want to clean this to make sure now it's been run through it has been run through two pillowcases but now there's always some debris so we're just going to take this my last egg and mix it up with milk make sure it's really well mixed and we're just going to pour it in here. You know what this does? This lifts any dirt and debris out so that it will come to the top. See how this is starting to bubble again? Because this was cold when we put it in. But I couldn't turn the temperature up any higher because it was creating problems with wanting to boil over. And you don't want to push this through. You just want it to come through all on its own. Roll it. Whoops. Drop some back in. That's okay. We're going to do this more than once. Okay, so here is, I checked it, and it's just the right thickness. It's just the right thickness. I've let this cool down so that I could tell exactly how thick it is. It's just the right thickness for pouring. Just. Now I'm reheating it and getting it into these clean washed jars. I have clean washed lids. Okay, I have been slowly reheating this up so that it is steaming but not bubbling because there's so much sugar in this it'll boil over and we'll have a mess. So I've got my little always always and I've got I have jars here clean jars and I have clean lids and I'm just gonna start I'm gonna turn this a little bit so that I can get the jar as close to the pot as possible. It's a real struggle to keep these see, I don't know if you can see it but this pot is steaming so now we're just going to start filling the jars as close to the top as possible, like right up to a quarter inch if you can, from the top. Hot syrup, clean jars, always, always. Wipe the rim with a clean damp paper towel. On goes a washed lid and over here on the counter it goes. It looks really liquidy, folks, but that's because it's hot. When it cools down, it's the perfect it's the perfect consistency for syrup. Really, folks, it gets messy, and you end up losing a little bit to drips and drabs and spills. And it's a lot of work, but my God, there's nothing like it, especially from your own trees. Right, dear? These will begin popping down in the next 10 or 20 minutes. There is one, one, two, three, four quarts, I'm going to say, of maple syrup. And that'll do us all year, but we still have another boiling. Isn't that beautiful? This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead, and that is our first boiling of sap. And that's what it gave us. It's a lot of work. But when you got the trees and you got the garbage wood that you want to burn, you know, when, when you have it, there's nothing like it in the world and it's worth every minute of work you put into it. Take care, God bless.